Okay, I took the door off our cabinet incubator and flipped it upside down. So this is the inside of the door. This is the piece of plexiglass that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark this real quick with a pencil. <clears throat> so that way I know where my plexiglass is gonna be. And then I'll measure in a couple inches I'm not sure if I want to put rounded tops on this. I may put rounded tops on it, but I want to come in a couple inches on both sides because I don't want too big a hole because I don't want to weaken the door. I still want it to be plenty strong enough. And then we're going to come back and we're going to put drill holes through this and put bolts in it with nuts and washers all the way around and a bead of silicone all the way around to seal it off. So now that I've got it marked, I can go ahead and measure in a couple inches from it. I can come in and put my marks. I think I'll come in two and a half inches on each side. Okay, now that I have the sides marked, I'm gonna come in from the top. I know I wanna leave at least four inches from that top and from the bottom. So I'm gonna make me a mark at four inches center on both sides and then do the same on the bottom and that leaves me about an inch to put my bolts for the plexiglass and to seal it okay now before I mark my lines I think I'm gonna do a curved I think I want to do some kind of curved Instead of cutting it straight across square, I'm gonna go ahead and make my marks on my lengthways. So I know where to cut on them. Like I said, this is the back of the door, so any lines that aren't gonna cut out. marks this one's not quite dark enough. okay it has my marks now I have to figure out what kind of radius I want to do that looks about the size of a coffee can I may be able to just take a coffee can and do that I'll go get one and see okay I found me this little bucket I've made me a center mark so I'm going to center that on the mark two center marks and this can be my radius around the edges and then I'm going to do the same on the other side okay looks pretty good now I'll just get my drill drill a hole both ends where I can start my jigsaw and go ahead and get this thing cut out Cut my LED strip for length. I've soldered in another piece of wire. This is the piece of wire that's gonna, gonna go in here and go to our switch. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and put the LED strip down through here. I took a piece of uh, alcohol swab and cleaned this real well. I've drilled a sixteenth of an inch hole that's gonna hold the screw for my strain relief here. I'll put a strain relief here and I'll put another one here at the door and another one on this side of the door. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the tape off the back of this LED strip and get it on here. This piece of shrink tubing, I just, I soldered the negative and positive wires together and then put a piece of shrink tubing over both of them.
One thing I did do, this hole that I drilled right, right here, I drilled it a little bit smaller than the diameter of my wire. So that way it was tight and I won't lose any air going through there. This is your positive and negative coming in from the LED lighting. The positive is going to the bottom of the switch, coming back out the top, and going to the nine volt battery. Now these nine volt batteries I have soldered in series. There's the positive and negative, so it's really 18 volts. And then the negative side coming from the LED goes straight to, goes straight to the negative on the batteries. So I'll tuck both these batteries right in here I'll tidy this up a little bit and put a little zip tie on them. And then we should be able to turn our switch on and off. Okay. We'll turn our LED switch on and off. Here it goes. On. Off. On. Off. All right, so it's working correctly. So there's the box, the switch, LED light on, off. So everything's working good. Now, like I said, we'll just tuck both of these nine volt batteries right in here and put the cover on it and we should be good. We have it all nice and tidy. Got the cover on, got the switch on. So if we turn the switch on, you can see the light comes on. And that concludes this part that has our, our door um, completed two pieces of PEXA glass. I hope that it doesn't condensate inside. I put silicone on the inside of the door, so hopefully it won't condensate in between the two pieces. We put the LED light with a little box on the outside. This is just a project box and got two nine volt batteries, two nine volt batteries wired in series. So we can just change them out. We're not gonna have this, gonna have this light on. A <laughs> So that's why I just went with nine volt batteries instead of tying it into the electric because I'm going to change this over to a 12 volt incubator uh, probably this winter. So that way I can run it directly off the solar panel. But now that'll make it easier. We'll get, should get better hatch rates because we're not opening and closing the door so much. I did put a little thermometer and hygrometer down in the very bottom that has magnets on the back of it. It's a little Accurite thermometer so we can tell the temperature and humidity and I'll just show you it's just a small little accurate it has two magnets on it so we can just glance in there and see the temperature and humidity this should work great for this hatching season um, if you like this video I did a video on different incubators that we and I'll put the link above uh, above me here or I'll put it in the description so that way you can watch that video. If you're not a subscriber, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.